Hi, and welcome to R&D 211, Render Man for Houdini Solaris. The latest version of Render Man supports the native USD Solaris workflows introduced in Houdini 18. Solaris offers artists and technical directors access to native USD for scene composition, variants, and overrides. USD is a robust technology for building up assets, putting them into sets, and adding shot-specific details and animation. It's a great pipeline tool. A new lighting toolset that allows artists to build lights in their USD scenes has been added into this system. You can also do direct batch rendering of USD files via Houdini's Husk command line renderer. RenderMan provides a USD Hydra render delegate that allows artists to render interactively directly into the Solaris viewport. Artists get immediate path traced visual feedback during scene assembly and adjustments to lighting, materials, and other scene attributes. The same RenderMan Hydra render delegate is what allows the Husk command line renderer. As SideFX builds on Solaris, RenderMan will continue to provide deep matching integrations to new features and capabilities. In this course, we will cover an introduction to navigating the USD scene in the Solaris stage area. We'll also take a look at RenderMan geometry settings, shading, and using the preset browser to assign materials. In class five, we'll take a look at camera settings, film back, depth of field, bokeh, and motion blur. And in later classes, we'll take a look at lighting, creating different light types, and how to adjust their parameters and exposure settings using the light mixer node. We'll also look at lighting using light linking and how to use light filters to create effects like barn doors and gobos on our lights. Lastly, we'll take a look at render settings, how we can create both fast, high-speed interactive renders and super high-quality, noise-free 4K HDR renders out of RenderMan. We'll take a look at integrators, filters, and the new machine learning denoising in RIS. In class nine, we'll take a look at light path expressions and how to export them for specific lights, which gives us tremendous control in compositing. And finally, we'll take a look at setting up the Kaboom HDA, which is amazing for look dev using volumetric and pyro workflows. I'll catch you in the first class and we can take a look at RenderMan for Houdini Solaris.